<laughs> yeah, you probably, la probably think I'm laughing because I just saw a very funny movie. No, I'm laughing at myself, actually. I'm laughing because I actually paid money to go see this piece of shit movie. Uh, God, I'm stupid. Uh, hey, everyone. Welcome to another review. And this review is for Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Yes, I have no, no idea why I went and saw this movie. And I have no idea why I paid $12 to go see Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. I saw the first Paul Blart movie. It was bad. Really, 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 really bad. I remember a time, actually, when uh, Kevin James was funny. Yeah, don't come to a shock. Kevin James was actually funny. Yes, it was, there was a show he did in the early 2000s. It was called King of Queens. I think a lot of people have watched this show. It's a funny show. And I'm like, wow, this guy is funny. But then, when he went to the movie industry, he sold his soul to an asshole named Adam Sandler. Yes, the shitty comedy actor that we all know sucks ass and who's the owner of Happy Madison. Any movie, any movie that has the Happy Madison logo, it's going to be a bad movie. There, I've not seen a good movie by Happy Madison Productions. It's because any time that shithead Adam Sandler, any time his corporation is involved with a movie, that movie is going to suck. Suck real bad. Even if Adam Sandler has nothing to do with the creative process, if he's not the writer, director, or the star of the movie, the movie will still suck because it's Happy Madison. Happy Madison is Productions is a basically a sickness. This movie, no matter even how good your movie is, this will bring your movie way down. And I'm not saying Paul Blart Mall Cop was a good movie and could ever be a good movie because they tried that again with an R rating and it was called Observant Report and that movie sucked just as much. But Paul Bart Mall Cop was a shit movie, and yeah, it made decent in the box office, but why make a sequel? It makes no sense to make a sequel. But they did, and I had to go and see it, and it was so, so agonizingly terrible that I so, so wanted to leave the theater. I went to the bathroom like three times, and most of the time I didn't even have to go to the bathroom. I didn't have to leave. This movie is short. This is only like an hour and 27 minute movie. It's a very short movie, but I can barely sit in my seat and take it. This movie was abuse to me. This was abuse to my eyes and ears. This was just fucking torturous to watch. And oh my god, like I said, I've seen some bad movies this year. Like. Fifty Shades of Grey was complete shit, but yeah, as much as I was bored and annoyed in that movie, I never wanted to like literally like rip my ears out watching it or rip my eyes out. Just like, oh, I love to just be deaf, dumb, and blind, just just for this one hour and a half of torture, please. <sighs> so yeah, what's the story of Paul Blart Mall Cop Two? Well, there isn't much of one. Uh, Paul, Paul Blart, played by Kevin James, uh, yeah, his daughter is basically graduating, and yeah, basically they go on a vacation to Las Vegas, and yeah, he's a little, a little upset, he doesn't want his little baby to go, you know, he wants her to just live at home forever, you know, typical father stuff, you know, Oh, people feel so bad. And basically, you know, like, the plot from the first Paul Blart movie? Yeah, it's almost like that. The exact same plot all over again. Yeah, and Kevin James, as Paul Blart, has to save the day once again. And honestly, that is like probably the most unrealistic thing right there. Like, I never bought in the first movie. Like, how is Kevin James going to save the day? He's a freaking moron! And yeah, he's a freaking moron in this movie. I'm like, oh, there's no way. There's no freaking way. And oh my god, this movie has no jokes. Like, literally has no jokes. Like, Accidental Love had jokes. Just every single one of those jokes was horribly written and just not funny at all. This movie literally had no jokes. The jokes in this movie were in the trailer, and basically it was all slapstick. Basically, when he, like, falls over and, like, you know, does something, that's the joke. I'm like, oh, okay. Is that funny? Like... Like him getting kicked by a friggin' horse and him get running after a bird and stuff, that's funny. And like him going face first into the glass, that's the comedy. Huh. 
That may have worked in a Three Stooges episode, yeah, but those guys were the master of slapstick. Kevin James is the master of, well, nothing really, but yeah, this movie was, like, the most painfully unfunniest pile of shit ever. Well, maybe not ever, but this year, definitely James is a funny guy, just, he, like, he doesn't pick the right material. He always does, like, Happy Madison production movies. He does, like, Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2, and Zookeeper, and Chuck and Larry, and, like, why is he picking these shit movies? Like, maybe he should do something, like, away from Happy Madison Productions. Just, like, get out of I actually saw him in one movie he was actually funny in. That movie's called Hitch. Everyone's seen Hitch. Will Smith and Gamma James, and that was funny, that movie. Like, yes, that's Kevin James. That's funny Kevin James. That's King of Queens funny Kevin James. He can be funny. But no, he just does fucking Happy Madison production movies. He does the grown-ups and the Paul Blorts and oh my god, he's just ruining himself. Yes, he'll make Don't Worry Me in the box office. Yeah, this movie actually made money. This movie was the number two movie this week. Really? The number two movie? I saw Unfriended. Unfriended was a much better movie. It should have made way more money than fucking Paul Blart 2. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Why do you people keep on seeing these Happy Madison productions? Even though Adam Sandler's not in this movie, you still shouldn't give this guy any money. This is like the most uncreative guy ever, and he's just got, he's got no glimmer of funny in him. There's nothing funny about Happy Madison productions, any of the movies they make. Nothing at all. Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing funny about any movie Happy Madison Productions makes. And Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 was just the crowning jewel of crap from their corporation. And yeah, I didn't like this movie. There's nothing much I can say about this movie. This just, movie is just terrible. The director of this movie was a guy named Andy Fickman. Andy Fickman, he's a terrible director. Like, he's directed movies like Parental Guidance, She's the Man, Race to Witch Mountain, and shit. Like, he did movies like that. I'm like, those movies sucked. Honestly, this movie's gonna blow, and this movie did blow. This guy doesn't know how to direct good comedy. This guy doesn't have any ounce of humor in him. Neither do any of the writers of this movie. Like, like this is probably, like, the easiest script to write, because all of this is just Kevin James running into things and fighting things and just getting hit by things. That's the entire movie. And that's not funny. It's not funny at all. And this movie was horrible. Just horrible. Terrible. The acting, of course, sucked. The writing was at its worst. And this movie was just bad. And it was suffering to sit through. And please, do not, do not, do not put yourself through all this pain and torture to watch this movie. Because this movie sucked. This movie was one of the worst movies I saw this year. Don't see it. It's crap. Scale 1 to 10. It, of course, gets a 1 out of 10. Skip this movie. It sucks real bad. So in the comment section below, tell me, what is the worst movie Kevin James has ever played in? Worst movie he ever played in? Honestly, I'm going to actually say this movie. This is the, probably the worst movie Kevin James has ever played in. But yeah, please comment below. Worst Kevin James movie. Comment below. Let me know. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.